Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is a hypnosis session. And I'm drinking coffee. I've had uh, quite a lot of requests from people for different uh, things, you know. Uh, different kinds of hypnosis sessions that you'd like and I have done some of them already uh, I the um, tinnitus uh, session that I did a few days ago that was a request the reducing um, pain medication was a request uh, I did that a while back um, the whisper hypnosis sessions they were a request I'm trying to think uh, also doing a long a really long insomnia session was a request which uh, I literally updated yesterday a ten and a half hour insomnia hypnosis session and this this session here is also a request um, I had somebody leave me a message on YouTube asking if I would do a hypnosis session for cutting or for self harm to help someone to you know to stop cutting themselves so this brings up some issues um, in the sense of these videos on YouTube is they kind of for entertainment they are here to help from my perspective they're here to help but from YouTube's perspective this is a place for entertainment um, so I was a little bit concerned whether or not I should even do something because for self-harm because it's such a serious thing um, which needs professional intervention so I would say that those of you who are watching this and if you are self-harming yourself by cutting um, yourself then you really really do need to see a doctor your GP, your medical practitioner, whoever that you deal with and I really suggest that you get um, emotional support i.e. counselling, psychotherapy so don't just rely on a video like this from some bloke in another country that you've not even met and even though I am a qualified counsellor and I have had clients that have self-harmed in fact I worked in a, a, a charity as a counsellor for about two two and a quarter years dealing exclusively with young people between the ages of 11 and probably 18 pretty much was the age group um, and lots of those were self-harming uh, some even led to suicide attempts and being sectioned uh, not many but it did happen sometimes so I have had experience in this field but there's no contact between us 
I uh, realise I might be going on a bit but I really do believe that if you are self-harming uh, by cutting by anything, whatever way you're self-harming uh, I'm specifically focusing on the cutting is because that is what the request for the video was um, but any self-harm um, it could be anything it could be punching walls it could be it just could be it's so many different ways that people self-harm some ways which people are, may not even be aware that it is self-harm so the most important thing and I'm not saying this because I'm trying to cover myself you know by the law or whatever because I don't give any interest to that stuff I don't care about the law or anything like that I do try and live within the law but I'm not, I'm not interested in that all I care about is the well-being of the people that watch my videos or listen to my mp3s I'm not doing this for any other reason but to help and it's really important that if you are going through uh, a situation a depression anxiety whatever that is causing you to hurt yourself then please get help don't rely on a video on YouTube okay my video can help but use it as a backup use it as an additional thing get the help see your doctor contact a counselling service in your area get some help go and talk to somebody you're not alone okay you, there are people that will help you there are people that will listen to you so having said all that and I realise I'm seven minutes into a video and all I've done is um, talk about what I've talked about but I think it's really important really important because especially with cutting the cutting may be for this, you know, to relieve the anxiety or the feelings you've got emotionally that it's hard to deal with and by cutting it's focusing on the physical pain instead of the emotional pain and there's a kind of can feel like there's a relief a release um, quite often it it's because of the focus but cutting can be dangerous cutting is dangerous and if you cut the wrong place you could end up worst case scenario you could end up dead you could end up going to the hospital you could end up losing a lot of blood you could you know it's serious so I won't go on anymore uh, but yeah please see a professional please get help and as I say I've, I always put this on the every video at the, at the bottom seek help from a doctor and get permission before you use these free hypnosis sessions I know most people probably don't but it's important that you look after yourself and you know I could be anybody you don't know me so don't put that trust in someone you don't know that's on a video go and see a real person someone that can help you someone that's trained to help you so this video is specifically for those of you that have already gone and got some help and this can be as an addition to that and only listen to this or watch this video if the person you're getting help from says it's okay please listen to those 
professionals that are there to help you. Right, that's the longest intro to any video I've ever done. Um, and the video's uh, <laughs> the actual hypnosis is only going to be about three minutes, so uh, I'm going to have to make the video really long now to compensate for the long introduction. Luckily, I've got my coffee. So really, I've given this video some thought, which probably comes across with the introduction I did, and I put off making it because I really wasn't sure the best way to go about doing this, because I think things like self-harm are quite close to my heart uh, from my own childhood you know depression and anxiety uh, that I've had over the years but also having spent a long lot of time with young people that have uh, self-harmed and I know that it's not only young people that do it so this video is not based just at young people, it's based at anybody. It's just my experience has been with young people. Uh, I say young, yeah, under 18, maybe under 20 kind of age. So, onward with the session. I should get on with it really. So, you can close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so remembering that you can open your eyes at any time because you are indeed in control of what you do and how you feel and this period of time that you're there listening to my voice you really can allow yourself to just relax and have some faith in your own ability to absorb positive suggestions and to make changes in your mind in a way that can really move you from where you were to where you wish to be emotionally and in other ways that you can only know how you wish your life to be and I don't just mean in a fantasy world wanting to live in a big mansion or a massive car and being rich being a rock star any of those things I'm talking about the kind of life you want to live kind of person that you really want to be and although this video isn't about that it's not about motivation necessarily although motivation does come into the equation motivating yourself to care enough about yourself so that you can do something else instead do something else instead and it's about getting in touch with that part of you that really cares about yourself the part of you that really really cares about yourself in a way that would never allow you to do anything that causes you pain or suffering and that's the part that you can allow yourself to get in touch with during this session you really can gradually and slowly become more aware of your 
inner resources your inner ability to really tap into the person that you really are not this person that maybe you think that you should be not the person that you maybe think you are not behaving in a way that you believe that you have no choice but actually tapping in to who you really are the person that would never hurt yourself the person that cares about yourself the person that can be creative and think of different ways of dealing with a situation different ways different from self-harm different from cutting allowing that creative mind to come up with so many different alternatives which can all lead to the same feeling of release the same feeling of relief and calmness releasing that feeling of tension that feeling of stress and that build up of emotion the build up of emotion that you may have been cutting yourself to release that feeling not realizing that there were other ways there are other ways to also release those feelings naturally and easily without the need for any kind of self abuse without any need for hurting or for pain isn't it enough that you have had to deal with the emotional pain isn't that enough so you could just draw a line and say that this pain ends here and there's something about having a line of behavior something about saying no this isn't going to happen I'm not going to do that anymore this is not me the same things if you were in a relationship with somebody boyfriend girlfriend even a family member and they did something something that you felt was inappropriate something that you felt was unacceptable it could just be something they said and you say no 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 that doesn't happen you don't talk to me like that oh no drawing that line and there's going to be people in your life that know about that line people are going to know that 
there's certain things that you don't like and your friends may know what that is the most important person to know about that line is you you need to know what your lines are and you need to be the one that creates those lines something that you would never do ever and I could ask you that question now think of something that you would never ever do in a million years no matter how much money you are offered to do it something that you could never ever do and it could be an extreme thing if you wanted for example for myself I could never hurt a child I could never hurt an old person it is something I could never do I could never walk up to an old lady in the street and just push her over I couldn't do that and I know that's an extreme thing and it's a disgusting thing as well even thinking about it but it's getting in touch with that feeling that feeling when you say no that's disgusting I would never do that how dare you even mention it I would not do that that's the line that you can now have when it comes to self-harm when it comes to cutting that line which says no I will never do that that is not acceptable for me that is not going to happen and it may sound like a judgement like you're judging yourself And this is all part of accepting what's happened not judging yourself for past self-harm but focusing on now focusing on the future where you will never do that again ever because because of that line that line where you would really never ever uh, just the idea of crossing it makes you feel physically sick disgusted at the idea of it and you could think back to the past like how on earth did I ever do that but not in a judgement way because everything that I do, every video that I make is about being kind to yourself being kind it's not about judgement it's about being kind so remembering about being kind to yourself one of the things that is the opposite to that would be self-harm cutting yourself cannot live in the same place as being kind to yourself the two are completely opposite which means that you can decide to really start focusing on being kind to yourself doing what you need to do for you to move forward from the past the past ways that you used to be the past behavior that you used to have before you made that line 
that line which you will never cross the line that you could and can't ever cross you could never could never cross that line and in response to having made that change there also needs to be another way for you to release those feelings of stress and anxiety that have been building up those feelings that you used to try and release by self-harm and now that you can no longer do those self-harming activities that you used to do before you made that line which means that you need to tap into that creativity that creative mind which can allow you to think of new ways of releasing that tension new ways of letting go new ways of no longer accepting or allowing those emotional feelings those difficult emotional feelings to build up no longer allowing them to build up but allowing them to just release slowly like a s tap or a hose pipe dripping slowly because if you had a hose pipe there and the tap was on but it was only a drip and you'd see the water dripping out of the hose pipe just one drip every couple of minutes and that wouldn't be a problem if your emotions were doing that if your emotions were just being released every couple of minutes just by a small little drip 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 there'd be no build up there'd be no problem there'd be no pain other than just the feelings that you were experiencing in that very moment easily able to manage and deal with those feelings knowing that you will be okay so if you were to stand on the middle of that hose pipe for long enough what would happen well that water would start to build up those little drips would start to build up in that part of the hose pipe where your foot is blocking the flow and eventually the pressure will build more and more the same way that the pressure that you have experienced in the past that pressure of emotion that you felt the need to release but no longer can release it in the way that you used to now that you've made that line so as that pressure builds in the hose pipe when I take my foot off that water is released out of the end of the hose pipe at a high pressure and then after a few seconds goes back to a drip 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 and as long as I keep my foot off that hose pipe the water will continue to release bit by bit slowly and surely and regularly releasing going leaving no longer able to cause any pressure 
because that feeling is now gone and the only thing that you ever need to deal with is just the drip by drip that small amount of water to deal with drip by drip and it's much more manageable that way much easier to deal with and that's something that's helpful to remember helpful for you to know that you really can make such simple changes just by the way that your mind thinks creatively and there are so many ways that your mind can just feel relaxed calm in the same way as that hose pipe just drips 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 your mind now will just drip 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 and each piece of emotion that you experience will just be experienced in the moment that you experience it and there's now nowhere to store this stuff nowhere for it to go to be stuffed in and squashed together causing pressure so instead of being a big piece of ice it's now been melted down drip by drip by drip and eventually it'll all be melted and you've only ever had to deal with a small amount of emotion at a time so it's no longer overwhelming it's now manageable and now nothing else can be added because now you've turned the freezer off the freezer that was keeping this big piece of ice frozen now the freezer has been turned off no more ice can be added so that big piece of ice can only shrink it can only become smaller drip by drip by drip moving before moving after moving into the future knowing that you really can experience feelings of lightness feelings of comfort because just by making some small changes in your mind and in your life really can move you really can change the way that you feel and there's something special about that something special about knowing that you can now deal with things much easier than before you can now experience the emotions as they happen as they happen 
you can no longer store them away letting it build up into something huge you deal with it as it happens drip by drip easily and naturally because it's just a small piece of emotion to deal with easily able to manage that as that iceberg from previous feelings and build-ups of emotion continues to melt drip by drip drip by drip melting and with that freezer turned off can no longer have anything added to it so every piece of emotion that you experience from now you can experience drip by drip by drip small pieces of emotion easily manageable can no longer build up and can no longer cause pressure which means you no longer need or desire to have any physical harm caused by yourself because you don't need it anymore because you're getting what you need you're experiencing life the way you need to in order for you to really move away from the past behaviors that were unhelpful remembering at all times to be kind to yourself because being kind to yourself is the complete opposite to the things that you were doing before the things that you can't do now because of that line that line that you won't cross because it goes against your inner core it goes against your natural caring that you have for yourself and we're coming to the end of this hypnosis session and you may wish to just close your eyes and just drift off into a nice sleep if that's what you need you may wish to just keep your eyes closed so that you can assimilate and just allow yourself to continue to feel relaxed and calm whether you wake up or whether you decide to open your eyes whatever you decide it's your decision and I'm just going to count from 1 to 10 when I get to 10 you can feel amazingly calm relaxed and happy 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and from now on you will be able to allow your mind to just feel calm and relaxed remembering the drip drip drip, continuously allowing the emotions to be felt small drips at a time allowing you to deal with life allowing you to feel happy and relaxed 
10. Enjoy the rest of the day. Feeling wonderful. <laughs>